Hey everyone, how's it going? Today is Tuesday, April 6th, and uh, I'm running around doing errands today. Uh, no gigs or anything, but uh, I have to do some uh, a music interview tonight. Uh, that's a little bit later. Just want to let everyone know about an experience I just had right here. Um, today is Street Sweeper Day, and I uh, forgot to move the car. So I'm chilling out in the house, and I hear the door knock. Uh, kind of aggressively and it's my neighbor running on over to let me know that my car is about to get a ticket so I grab my keys and I start to run on out I'm, I'm like on the porch and you know lo and behold here comes the street sweeper and he's like you know 20 yards away with the uh, the ticket person behind him and as he gets close you know he sees me standing out there and I just you know, in the past, those guys are really quick and you get the ticket. So I just stopped and I just said, oh, well, I guess I'm getting another ticket, which sucks. And the street sweeper actually stopped behind my car and just waited for me to jump in my car and move the car. So I I quickly ran on over to the car, started it up and zoomed away. And uh, he continued on. So when I was turning around, I was able to, you know, catch both the street sweeper and the uh, ticket officer uh, and I really you know gave him a smile and a thumbs up and said thank you very much uh, I thought that was very cool of them to do that a uh, very rare not my experience usually here with uh, any of the civic law enforcement here in Long Beach or anywhere in SoCal for that matter and uh, if anyone knows me close enough uh, you know I'm often misunderstood because I tend to be uh, well, I view it as truthful, or how I, I interpret uh, the truth based upon my experience, um, given the fact or my belief system that we live in in uh, the most illusional time ever uh, with the advent of this technology and, and the ability of the internet where everyone's a professional, self-proclaimed professional, everyone's an authority on everything, uh, everyone can create... Uh, some illusion to make one person think another thing when in fact it's completely false I accept all of this already I, I know this is the challenge of our of our modern day society and uh, I work with it and stand up when I have to and sidestep when I have to and all that fun stuff um, the reason I state all of that is because you know when I look around in our local government uh, our local councils and our advocates and all that nonsense around here in my city I just see it as like malarkey just nonsense a lot of posturing a lot of self-indulged uh, just nonsense with some hidden agenda that if you actually think critically for a moment you can actually get to what the agenda is of this organization or this person rarely is it for helping the people so all of that being said um, I'm, you know, pleasantly surprised and happy that our uh, street sweeper actually was cool enough to hesitate for 20 seconds in their life and uh, allow me to move the car and, and not pay that fine. Uh, really kind of restores my faith uh, to a certain degree um, with the city, with our local government, showing that it can happen. Uh, that is an exception, man. I mean, I, I'd have no problem rattling off the absolute nonsense that goes on uh, in the city at a government and civic level in terms of funding in regards to the arts and all the posturing that goes on and the illusions that go on and, and uh, you know, proclaiming and banner-waving that try to make give an illusion that everything is fine. Uh, when, for those of us in the trenches, I can tell you straight looking into this camera, it is not okay um, and that's the challenge and I accept that challenge so that's a lot of words for me to basically say thank you uh, to the city of Long Beach for not giving me a ticket today uh, maybe you gave the next 20 people a ticket but <laughs> I guess I was the, the lucky person today and, and I'm grateful I'm grateful I'll call them as I see it so uh, thank you very much and uh, I'm gonna go move on and do all kinds of stuff today all right peace All right, I've already been to Max's to pick up a check. I went to the bank to cash it. I went to the Verizon place to pay my phone bill. 
uh, fun, fun music day. <laughs> Bamboo Terry House is good. Come in, Terry House. Let's start off with your, uh, just saying your, your name and uh, what instrument you play. Okay, uh, my name is Phil J. Carrillo. Um, I play lead tenor, uh, lead tenor steel drum, or what's known as a steel pan or pan. And How does your, your band, because um, you're in a band, can you talk about the band a little bit? Yeah, the band is called Steel Parade. Uh, Apparently what I just said. The drum in Carnival is a source of pride. It's more than pride. It's a lifestyle. The drum is incredibly respected. It's not just a drum that you find at Guitar Center. It's quite opposite. It's, you know, it's folkloric. Um, so, so what is this interview for? Uh, this interview is for my music cultures class that covers the Latin and Caribbean cultures. Um, basically, the project was to interview somebody who's a musician who has an instrument that's not traditional and sort of. And through a friend of mine, Mark Ween, um, he's my guitar teacher. He was the one that uh, introduced me to Phil and. Um, Basically, um, yeah, learning about the uh, still drum. Cool. What's cool? What college? I go to Chapman University. Chapman. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good stuff. Thank you. Anyway, all right. So I'll play a little something. Let's see. Play some the kitties like. Let's see. So that's it for today. Uh, just did a lot of running around today. Man, I hope tomorrow I just have time to just chill out. And um, uh, there's no classes this week because it's spring break, you know, at uh, Long Beach City College. So I'm getting some other stuff done. And uh, as you can see, I, I met with that fellow from Chapman and uh, did his uh, interview. He's going to edit that thing up and post it on YouTube. So uh, that should be good for some laughs. Uh, see me answering some questions and uh, that's it man that's the blog uh, no no gig scheduled uh, the next two days but we have taco surf on Friday so just trying to handle biz and get some stuff done and um, that's it for now okay uh, thanks for all the comments and uh, that's it peace there's Glennis Say hi, Glennis.